I don't. I'm sorry. I don't. Those guys can't play your pork, and I put all your eggs in that basket. So this this has given Murray. Murray hates all these guys. Murray hates everyone. Mm-hmm. So he, this has given him an idea. He tried to explain it to me before the show, or and I I I immediately thought of the '98 five the sports up ticket weasel, the Tennessee ticket weasel. Yeah! <laughs> it's just occurred to me, man. I miss having games so we can do these giveaways. <laughs> What was it? I thought you did the Ticket Bandit. Uh, yeah, we might have done that. We did the Andy Reid. Uh, what am I eating? Yeah, what's Andy What's Andy eating? Yeah, that was a good one. <laughs> yeah, the name items off of the Cheesecake Factory menu. Yeah, text my egg rolls. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, explain to me this game. Go ahead. All right, so you guys want to find the next quarterback of the Patriots. You're obviously terrified of tanking, so you want to find the next guy via free agency or through a trade this offseason. Right. So considering how you guys, Mike, uh, love certain guys just because of their name, Alex Smith, Andy Dalton, Mitch Trubisky, whoever. Uh, I want to take the names out and just give you stats and a little bit of information about a quarterback. And with that, we'll find the new Patriots quarterback this afternoon through the process of elimination. And a game I call, get ready to hit it, Jimmy, pick the bum. <laughs> Time to pick the bum. Time to pick the bum. Time to pick the bum and find the next Pats quarterback. All right, so I've selected 12 quarterbacks. Okay. And I see you give us clues throughout the course of the day. Yes, I've selected 12 quarterbacks the Patriots could realistically sign in free agency or trade for this coming offseason. Okay, so, so realistic. We're not, yes. Pat Mahomes is not on the list. Aaron Rodgers isn't on this list. I'll tell you right now. Okay, good. Okay, so uh, we'll not fall in love with a name. We'll select him with the stats and basic information about the player by picking the bump. <laughs> You. Thank All you, right. Jim. All right. So, uh, again, we're going to start with four. Okay. I'm going to give you here. And then five o'clock, we'll have, we down to three semifinalists. And out of that, we'll pick the bump. Oh, I get it. So you're going to give it to us in groups of four. Yep. In and group- we have to pick one of every four. Wait yep. a minute. And there's 12 of them total. Yes. Okay, fine. We're so, doing three groups of four. Thank you. I got that part. You got that, Einstein? I didn't have to verbalize it because we don't verbalize math on the air, but I got it. Okay. okay. So this is like American Idol. Go. All right. <laughs> QB1, this quarterback threw for nearly 4,000 yards last year. Okay. His career average quarterback rating is 99.6. Yeah. The most interceptions this quarterback ever threw in a season, 13. He has an unfortunate history of injuries. That's quarterback one. Okay. Quarterback number two. Pew. This quarterback is a former first-round draft pick. His career average QB rating is 87.3. The most interceptions he ever threw in a season, 21. He is still in his early 20s. Ready? Okay. Quarterback number three. This quarterback is also a former first-round draft pick. His career average QB rating, 78.5. The most touchdowns he's ever thrown for are 19 just last year. Looks the part, 6'3", but also seemingly injury-prone. Okay. Okay, hold on. Okay. I got to write all this down. Me too. Next. Finally, uh, in this round, uh, this quarterback is yet another who is also a first-round draft pick. Okay. Also very big. Looks the part. Looks like a QB. Six foot four. Very strong arm. But his career average quarterback rating, 77.8. The most touchdowns he's ever thrown for in a season are seven. Okay, TD high seven. Career average QB rate of what? Uh, that rating was 77.8. I just want to clarify something. Oh, on the, God. <laughs> on the first two guys, you gave us interceptions. On the last two, you gave us touchdowns, right? Correct. Okay. So which out of these qualifiers are you going to pick? Which bum are you going to pick? Pew. <laughs> Not to belabor the point. Is this... My starter next year, the guy that I'm building around? Well, you tell me. I mean, this is the guy for 2021 and at least the next few years because you guys are terrified to tank and find the next quarterback in the draft. So, so this is my bridge guy. This isn't uh, This isn't my my backup flyer. This isn't my third string. Let's this is see. the guy that's going to start 2021. Th- this Just is my bridge that. guy in 2021. Got yep. it. Okay, very good. You we're guys got to decide. Who, who are you going to pick? We're off and running. Well, we're picking the 5 o'clock hour, right? No, no, no you, you got to pick, pick one, one of these now. four now. Oh, I need oh, a semifinalist I now. All right, fine. Mads, go first. 
Well, you got to both decide. But I'm saying Maz go first. No, I got two, so I'm going to Oh, wait. you get one. <clears throat> no, no, no. I mean, I, but I'm going to wait to see who you pick, because if you pick one. I one, didn't know I was picking now. I thought I had to pick at the 5 o'clock hour. hoping would happen. I was told I was picking in the 5 o'clock hour. I didn't know I was picking right now. We went over the Well, if you have one, just give one. Well, we went over the rules at the beginning. You said you understood it. You obviously didn't. And do you can't do two, so am I going to get the name now, or just? No, no, no. no. You just got to pick number one, two, three, or four. Ay, ay, ay. God, you dumb. <laughs> Which actually is not true. You're really bright. Do you want to discuss it during the commercial No, break? no, no. I'm just looking at this. Okay. You're dumb about some Stand stuff. by. <laughs> I'll take number one. I knew you were going to pick number one. That's why I wanted you to go first. Maz? Two. I'll take number two. But you have to decide out of one. You can't. You have to pick one. It has to be whittled down to one. So you guys decide. Oh, Which we have to decide. But we yeah, have to pick it's one Felger between and us? Maz. Yeah. Oh, oh I don't like that. this. You didn't say that. Well, well, I thought we were picking individually. No, individual. Fine. I'll go with number one. I'll go with number one because I was going to pick one or two. And if Einstein over here wants number one, then we'll go with number one. All right. So quarterback one moves on. I just want to let you know you have eliminated the following three quarterbacks. Jesus. This is the ticket weasel. Yep. Go. You eliminated Baker Mayfield, Ooh. Sam Darnold, and Dwayne Haskins. They are off the board, but you have quit, picked QB1. He moves on to the finals, which, which again will be in the 5 o'clock hour okay. as we pick the bump. Thank God I got rid of Haskins. All right. Well, that was he, he was the last one. He sucks. Okay, we'll keep going. The Tennessee Ticket Weasel. <laughs> Back to your thoughts after this. I didn't say that. Yes, you did. Yes, they did. Oh, well, you said it. You said it. I can prove that you said it. You said it. It's Felger in Mass. 98.5, the Sports Hub. Time to pick the bum. Time to pick the bum. Time to pick the bum and find the next pass quarterback. Pew. So, I think this whole exercise bothers Murray because he hates all the quarterbacks. He's true. Them. Uh, so he's uh, he's come up with this game. So explain it again. Mark. Well, I picked out 12 quarterbacks that the Patriots could realistically sign in free agency or trade for this coming off season. But rather choosing a guy than choosing a guy based on his name. You guys love Alex Smith for some dumb reason. Uh, I want you to select him with the stats and basic player information that I give you about said quarterback. And that's how you will pick the bum. I appreciate the exercise, but... The last way I want to pick a quarterback is based off stats. You know, well, I, but there are certain ones that give you an idea of what's important to you. Sure, there are, there are. But I, I want to use my eyes. Yeah, and I, and I, I want to, you know, also apply it to a good system versus a bad system. Sure. I mean, a guy gets poorly coached or has a horrible surrounding culture, like he's port. You have your biases, and I'm taking away those biases is what I'm doing here. This is a scientific formula as we pick the bump. No, this is like an analytics thing. It's see, nerd. Uh, well, see, I think a stat Ew. bias is worse. Either way, go, go ahead. Right. So, so anyway. We're now down to eight as one semifinalist yeah. moved on from the group in the two o'clock hour. So uh, you have to pick a semifinalist out of the four. I'm going to give you here. Go All ahead. Right. All right. Quarterback number one. This quarterback was... And it's really quarterfinalist, but go ahead. Oh. This quarterback was selected as a second round draft pick. Okay, second round. His career average QB rating is 87.1. Okay. He has typically been good for 25 touchdowns or more per season. He did once throw 20 interceptions in a season. That's quarterback one. Okay. Quarterback number two. This quarterback was selected in the first round. Okay. His career average QB rating is 85.9. Hmm. His career high for throwing touchdowns in a season is 24. This quarterback at six foot two has also at times been able to run for first downs and get himself out of trouble with his legs. Hmm. Hmm. All right, then. Quarterback number three. This quarterback was also selected in the first round of the NFL draft. Hmm. His career average QB rating is 94.8. Now we're talking. He's typically good for mid to high 20s in touchdowns in a season. And he looks the part. He's six foot four with a strong arm. Hmm. Hmm. And quarterback number four, just two years ago, this quarterback had a QB rating of 100.4. The most touchdowns this quarterback has thrown for in a season, 31. But this quarterback was once sacked 40 times in a season and a little short at six foot two. Now you guys have to pick the bum. Six foot two. Two years ago, 100.4. So, and we have to, Maz, I have to pick the same one. We have to come to a consensus. Yep. Which is the most annoying part. Well, I got it down to yes. I got it down a two. Give me your two, Maz. Uh, number three and number four. 
Number three and four. I like three the best. I go back to three. Number three is a former first round pick. Mm-hmm. Has a career quarterback rating of ninety four point eight. Correct. He throws in the mid to high twenties in touchdowns. He's six four and has a strong arm. Mm-hmm. Number four had a hundred and four quarterback rating just a few years ago. Just in twenty eighteen. In twenty eighteen, he had a one hundred four. Mm-hmm. His career. Go ahead. It, <laughs> <laughs> you go. Go ahead. Cause no, we had, uh, go. What was the next stat on him? Career, uh, career high of thirty one touchdowns. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Sacked forty times in a season though once. What's your problem, Maz? Well, the 31 touchdowns might not have been in the 100.4 year. He okay. might have played two games in the 100.4 year. What's your problem with number one? Former second-round pick, quarterback rating of 87-1. He's good for 25 touchdowns per year. He did throw 20 interceptions once. I don't have a problem with number one. He's okay. But well, I like, bets he's just okay. I like the upside of number three. 94.8, 25 plus TDs, 6-4. Feels like my kind of guy. Okay, we'll go with number three, Murray. Put him on the board. All right, so as I uh, let you know before, in round one, you eliminated Sam Darnold, Baker Mayfield, and Dwayne Haskins. This yep. time around, you have eliminated. Go slow. Andy Dalton. I knew one of them was Dalton. Thank God. It. Thank God. You have eliminated Mitch Trubisky. Oh, I wanted him. Ah. Balls. And you eliminated quarterback, quarterback number four. Ryan Fitzpatrick. Oh, thank uh, God. See, I told you. Good job, Maz. I told you. Good job. Murray played a little shell game with us there. Good yes, job. Yes. Yeah, see, again, 100.4 two years ago. Great. What did he play, three games? I think it was like four. Yeah, <laughs> see? <laughs> you uh, sneaky prick back there. A little see? bit of trickery. Yeah, I'm smart. See, Maz is smart. I just take things at face value. I'm dumb. I just put it in front of me. I'll sign it. I'll read it. I'll do whatever. I have no thought. Poor judgment. Number one. Okay, uh, Trubisky, I would take a flyer on, though. He's not my guy, though. So, again, Murray, the criteria, what we're picking here is the bridge guy, the guy that's going to start for the next couple of years while we're developing whoever we draft, which, uh, to me, is not Trubisky. I want Trubisky, but I want him as guy on the depth chart that I'm seeing what the hell sure, I got Sure, number there. two, yeah. I'm, I'm taking him as my second or third quarterback. Well, you can't have him because you didn't pick that bump. Okay, so I didn't. But either way, good. I'm glad because I don't want him as my number one. I don't want to be pinned with Mitch Trubisky as my number one. You know what I wish Murray was giving us here? Completion percentage. Of course. I wish we had that one, but right. then he probably deprived us of it intentionally. So, you know, now that we're halfway through it, Murray, give me your give, give me your bright idea. As opposed to just making funny noises and mocking us <laughs> for every name that we bring up. <laughs> no, I, you, yeah, you, pick you, the bum, Murray. You, you pick a bum. Yeah, go ahead. Pick I don't want, no, I just want them to tank and draft a guy. That's what I want them to do because I don't want any of these hacks. Okay, but why do you want some kid from North Dakota State? More upside, more unknown. I like that. That's that, 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 as a fan, there's more to invest in with that. There's, when you pick a quarterback in the first round, that gives you hope. These other guys, these retreads, no thanks. Okay. Just so what? You could be 9 and 7, 10 and 6 and losing the first round? Blech. Remember, Murray likes the Thursday night game. Well, no, no, but I understand what he's saying. It is true. Like, everyone gets way more horny for draft picks. Sure. And if, you know, if you draft one high in the first round and even if Bill trades up for him, it's like... And especially when you crap on a guy before just because you watch some tape or one random college game and the guy actually you think is going to suck and turns out to be good like Justin Herbert. Like, I crapped all over him because of the Oregon thing. I would never take an Oregon quarterback. That kid looks like he can play. Like, that's exciting as a fan. As a fan. If you're a fan of the Chargers right now, you got to be feeling good. There's no doubt that it's more fun to do what you're... It's not fun to tank this year, but in terms of building the team... Murray's absolutely right. You, you'll get far more excited if Bill trades up into the top 10 and takes some quarterback number seven or eight. You'll be like, oh, they got the guy. This is the guy. That's fun. Versus coming back with a depth chart that's Matt Ryan, Mitch Trubisky, and some second round pick you never heard of. Correct. It's so much more fun. And then the whining and caterwauling you get to do to try to defend a pick, even though you know oh. your eyes tell you he sucks like Giants fans do with Daniel Jones. Like uh, you get to do that for a few years. You do? Yeah. I just don't think it's. I think. M- it's just not the best way to build your team. It's more it's, fun. I bet you it's not the way Bill does it either. It's more fun. It yeah. is more fun, Murray. You're absolutely right. But it's not. I think it's way more risky. Remember that he's excited about Atlanta, Carolina tonight. Okay? I Murray gets into that. He's in the, it's in the Murray night football. <laughs> There's no sports last night. I need something tonight, and this will wet my whistle. Oh, again, nothing to toot your tutor. No, what, what's his whistle? <laughs> like yep. a bad football game. Yep. Murray, I think your facilitation during these segments has been fabulous. Well, these guys are picking bums. Murray playing, I don't know. Playing point guard back Okay, there. so we got two like mi- two mystery names on the board. I'm looking forward to hearing who we got. Will you reveal the four or just reveal? Well, it'll all be revealed in time. Back to your calls after Murray's 90-second update. No commercials here. This all- In Mass, 98.5, the Sports Hub. Time to pick the bum. Time to pick the bum. 
time to pick the bum and find the next Pat's quarterback. Phew. Uh. <laughs> I don't know how much you hate this. I don't know if I'm liking this. Because I, I know I'm going to pick some bum. Well, that's the whole idea. Well, that's all that's out there. In and, that case, you win. Yeah, that's the purpose of the game, to pick the bum. Go ahead, next round. Let's this one, I got news for you. This is probably how Belichick's going to do it. <laughs> and based on last year, he waits for the last bum to shake out, and then he grabs him. So uh, our chances are better than his. <laughs> all right, we're now down to four. So you're going to pick one here, and in the 5 o'clock hour, we'll be down to three. And out of that, we'll pick the bum who Felgren Mann has officially endorsed as the next quarterback of your New England Patriots. All right? Yeah. Quarterback number one. This quarterback was a top 10 draft pick. Top 10. His career average QB rating is 83. Mm. This quarterback's career high in touchdowns in a season, just 24. This quarterback is a very big dude. He is six foot five. Ready for quarterback number two? Well, oh, he blows. Stand go. By. Okay, go ahead. This quarterback's career average QB rating is 89 and a half. Hmm. This quarterback's best season saw him throw for over 3,000 yards and just 20 touchdowns. That said, this quarterback is very protective with the football. The most interceptions he ever threw in a season, six. This QB is a little short, though. He is six foot one. Hmm. Okay, go. Quarterback number three. I know who that is. This quarterback was a top 10 draft pick as well. His uh, career rating average, 89 and a half. Hmm. This quarterback once threw for over 5,000 yards in a season. I know that is. Had 40, over 40 touchdowns. Okay. This quarterback does, however, have a concerning injury history. Okay. All right. And quarterback number four. This quarterback was also a top 10 draft pick. Wow. Yes. His uh, career average quarterback rating, 87.2. His completion percentage, average for his career, 62.3. 62.3. The most touchdowns he's ever thrown in a season is 26. Give me number two. Uh, give me number three again, would you please? This quarterback was a top 10 draft pick. His career rating average is 89 and a half. One year, he threw for over 5,000 yards and over 40 touchdowns. This quarterback does have a concerning injury history. 40 effing touchdowns and 5,000 yards. Top 10 pick, 89.5 rating. You know who that is, Mass. I do. Well, tell me who that is. Well, no, 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 names. no, I'm not tell you who it no, is. No, you're well, picking you a bow. who it is. I think I know who the one before him is, too. The 89.5 with 20 TDs. Because you know why, Maz? Because you're, you're so chronic. You just can't play the game. You've been, like, looking up stats. No, I haven't been have looking been. them up. You have been. You you're have wrong. been. You're wrong. You have been. No, you're wrong. I did that the first segment. I started you to You did look. do it the first segment. Let me finish. I started to look it up the first segment, and then I stopped because you complained, so I stopped. It defeats the purpose. I didn't get to anybody's name. You need to know the answer. I know that should be easy. play the game. That 5,000 yards should be easy. Top 10 pick, 5,000 yards, 40 touchdowns. Have you guys come to a conclusion? That should be easy. You should know that. No, we have not come to a conclusion. I haven't even said let the dust settle yet on this. Three. Two. You You want number three, the three guy? Yeah. 5,000 no, yards. more importantly, you want them. <laughs> well, you have to come to a conclusion. Fine, let's go with two. No, go with two. The pick his guy. No, go ahead. no, no. no. Go I, go I'm discussing two. it. I'm discussing it. No, sure you are. Just like we discuss everything from two to six. I, I, I enjoy the career high six interceptions. Yeah. Like pick that's him. A- yeah, pick him. You'll love that guy. <laughs> this has worked out better than I thought See, it Ma- would. Maz just knows too much. No, th- I think that I'm going to. He's been cheating. You've been looking. No, no, no. no. I'm, gonna, I'm telling you what. Definitely I, been looking. I know who the second one is. I'm guessing. Wait a minute. Don't give a name. I don't want to know because you're going to influence his. Maz hates it when he's asked a question. He doesn't know the answer. He hates it. That's not true. Because he's, he's like, because he's smart. So he wants to know the answer. That's not true. So it's like, you know, when we play our five questions, that have nothing to do with sports. You're like, Murray, give me a hint. Like you, you have to know. <laughs> right. Well, I'm just like, let it go. Let it. I, 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 I just want to do it on field. This is what this Fine, is about. Do it on field. Do it. Top 10 pick. I didn't look anything up. I just, I just said, what I did was I thought about the bums who might be out there and what their numbers probably look like, and two of these guys fit. Is it deliberating done? Have we. Bullwinkle. Three. I'm going with Mass. All right. So, you have eliminated the following quarterbacks in this round. Number one. Number one was Daniel Jones. Okay. I wouldn't have known that. Good. I'm going to guess on two. Can I guess? Yeah. 
Tyrod Taylor. You got it. Quarterback number Jesus. two was Tyron Taylor. Because I mentioned him yesterday. And you know why I mentioned him yesterday? Because he doesn't throw picks. He doesn't turn it over. So when Murray said just six picks, I said it's probably Tyron Taylor. And this game is already a success because QB4 has been eliminated. So goodbye to you, Alex Smith. I thought that might be Alex Smith. Oh, that hurts. I thought that might be Alex Smith. Yeah, you'll like number three better, though, if that's who I think it is. So we have our three finalists. In the 5 o'clock hour, we will find, we will pick the bum. Who Felgren has officially endorsed as the next quarterback of your New England Patriots. I think we get a half decent list. It won't be Baker Mayfield. It won't be Sam Darnold. It won't be Haskins. What's his first name? Dwayne, Dwayne Haskins. Won't be Dwayne Haskins. These are the guys who have been eliminated. Correct. It won't be Andy Dalton. Correct. It won't be Mitch Trubisky. Correct. It won't be Ryan Fitzpatrick, who he tried to slip that one in. He tried to slip that one pious. Thank God we have Maz, who's on to all of this. Because he's been looking stuff up and cheating. Uh, no, I have not been cheating. I just have good instincts. <laughs> he knew it. He he knew that was. He knew that. He, I would tell you if I've been cheating. He knew that Murray was trying to slip us a little Fitzpatrick when we weren't looking. <laughs> just the last thing you want. He's trying to slip us a Fitzy, <laughs> little Fitz magic. Very hairy. <laughs> <laughs> we won't be taking Daniel Jones. We won't be taking Tyrod Taylor. Very good, Maz. We won't be taking Alex Smith. Damn, I would have taken Alex Smith. So you know how you know that's Tyrod Taylor is the yardage is low, the touchdowns are low, the interceptions low. See, Everything's low. You you think too much. No, I you know, I You're tried too I, I tried to be sneaky with some of these. The Tyrod Taylor information, I feel like you you know, Maz is I don't think he needed a cheat to find that out. You should have known that too, Mike. I don't no, know you anything. I don't I I, I I need a second to think. Things come to me when I'm driving home, like or when I wake up in the morning or I'm going to bed. That's when it occurs to me. That's when I find the answer. In real time, I'm a, a twisted pretzel mess. This has nothing to do with real time. This has everything to do with following the league and knowing what players are. I don't follow the when league. When Tyron Taylor was with the Bills, what was he? I don't even remember. Bum. Completion percentage, doesn't throw the ball down the field, doesn't turn it over, doesn't score. You pay too close attention. This is the problem. He does fantasy, too. That's it. Yeah. There now we now we've hit on it. That might be fantasy. I do like the thought of you on the pike at six fifteen being like, I picked the wrong ball. That's when ah. it comes to me. That's when all the stuff comes to me. <laughs> He's gonna be happy with the one in the last group, Mari. Okay, so uh we will uh, finalize the bum in the five o'clock hour. We continue with your thoughts on how to rebuild this utter mess that Bill's made for himself, both at the quarterback position and on the roster. And next I just want to get to something real quick about veteran leadership on this team. Where did that go? We'll do it right after these words. Time to pick the bum, time to pick the bum, time to pick the bum and find the next pass quarterback. Phew. All right, here we go. Murray gave us 12 nameless quarterbacks with stats. We had to pick uh, we had three rounds of four. We picked one guy that we liked out of each grouping. We don't know his name. We just know the statistical profile. And now we are going to reveal the three finalists, Murray. Or, or, or no, nope. no. Nope, let's so so. Let's reset the stats on the three, and then we pick the one out of the three. Well, we're not resetting the stats for the three. I'm giving you new stats, oh, additional oh. newer stats. Oh, I love this about well, these three finalists. Again, pick one here, and that is who Felger and Maz officially endorse as the no, next quarterback. No, 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 no. After we're <laughs> done with this exercise, this is an exercise. Okay, so we'll see the results of the exercise. After the results of the exercise. I'm just going to ask you, what is your ideal, realistic quarterback depth chart next year? Realistic. You can't give me Pat Mahomes, Lamar Jackson. You know what I mean? Okay. Okay, so it's got to be a realistic quarterback depth chart when we're done with this. Okay. Okay, this is just an exercise. Seems like you're twisting the rules. I'm not. No, no. This is, I'm just, I'm talking about when this game's over, we're going to play another one. This is like the, the this is we're the equivalent. Play Felger's game. <laughs> this is the equivalent of the big board. Yeah. And and we don't mock the bit. I'm not board. mocking it. Go ahead, go. Yeah, you're mocking it. Go, go. Jesus, go. All right, quarterback number one. Uh, his career average quarterback rating is 99.6. This quarterback has made the playoffs four times in his career. Hmm. His season high in touchdowns is 27. This quarterback has a concerning durability and injury issue. Knowing how much Bill Belichick detests turnovers, it is worth knowing that this quarterback is currently averaging. One turnover per start in his career. Ugh. That's quarterback number one. Ready for quarterback okay, number two? It, you also said that he has a career high of 13 interceptions in a season. Uh, it prior? Yes. Yes, yeah. that's correct. Okay, yeah. but you're saying now you're adding strip sacks and things of this nature. Yep. One, one, he averages Fumbles. one turnover per game. Okay. Mm -hmm. Ready for quarterback number two? Man, yeah, knows who it is because he's been No, I don't know it. who it is, yeah, but I'm ahead. leaning towards go, him. Go ahead, yeah. This quarterback has a career average quarterback rating of 94.8. 
This quarterback has made the playoffs six times in his career. As Bill Belichick once said, availability is the best ability. With that, this quarterback in his career has only missed three games total. Three games total. He must be old. This quarterback's single season high in touchdowns, 38. His high in interceptions, 17. But twice in his career, he threw just seven. And according to Pro Football Reference, this quarterback is tied for eighth all-time in fourth quarter comebacks. Okay, I have a guess who that is, but keep going. I don't want him. I don't want this guy. Quarterback number three. This quarterback's career QB rating is 89.5. This quarterback has an extremely concerning durability and injury history. This quarterback has made the playoffs three times in his career. According to Pro Football Reference, this quarterback is tied for eighth all-time in fourth quarter comebacks. This quarterback has thrown for over 28 touchdowns four times in his career. Okay. It's time to pick the bum. (laughs) (sighs) Maz, let's discuss this real quick. Okay, yeah, go. The second guy in here with the six playoff appearances, could that be Phillip Rivers? Yeah, it does feel like Rivers, yes. I I would have guessed, yes, someone like him. Yeah, he's old. Well, but that, I mean, if this guy... supposed to be using names. But I think he threw over... Yes, no, well, now we're openly... If we have to come up with one together, we now get to discuss it, Murray. I also think he threw over 20 picks one year, so that kind of threw me off a little, that Murray said 38 and 17 was his high for picks. But I still think it's someone like Rivers who's old, and I don't want an old guy. Maybe it's Breeze? Is Breeze... That could be Breeze. Is Breeze in this mix? Breeze has thrown over 40 touchdowns, though, I think. Again, these are 12 quarterbacks that I hand-picked. Okay, but, I, you know, Breeze is someone we should put on the list. He's not going to play here. He might be done. Uh, 94.8 rating. I bet your breeze is higher. Okay, who do you like, Mass? I like number one. The first one. 4,000 yards. Who do you think it is? Uh, I have no idea. Well, then wait a minute. So you gotta like give me an idea. I know who the last one is. He threw. F- who's the last one? Well, 5,000 yards not, gives it not, away. That's gonna... not supposed to be using names. Yes, we are. On this not one, we this are. Yeah, yes, we are. Yes, we are. <laughs> Well, cheating. 5,000 yards, 40 TDs, injury history, and his rating is a little on the low side. And he's, even with all those numbers, that's Stafford. Stafford passed for 5,000 yards one year. I know he's one of the guys to do that. And he threw 40 touchdowns that same season, I think. I don't want him either. I want number one. He's the unknown to me. I want him. Hold I'm on. going behind door number one. Mike can kiss my ass. I'm taking number one. <laughs> well, you have to both come together on this. 4,000 last year, four playoff appearances. That was last year, the 4,000 yards? Yep, 4,000 last year, four playoff appearances. Quarterback rating of 99.6 last year. Should I, And need I remind you again, Mike, I know how you hate turnovers, but nobody hates him more than Belichick. This quarterback currently averaging one turnover per start in his career. So he had 4,000 yards last year? No, no, no. No, no, no. Not this quarterback, no. Well, this yeah, number one. If we're talking about the same number one, yeah, number, the number one. one the, the the first guy you mentioned the entire day, yeah, four thousand yards last year, almost, 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 almost. Oh, all right. Key word. I wrote down four thousand too. Well, I wrote down four K. You know what? My gut tells me I'm going with the one number one. Your gut tells you what? Well, those numbers sound like someone I know. Okay, but actually the four times throws it out of whack is is he dinking around with us as a backup quarterback he's got four playoff appearances could be he might be messing with us okay number one jimmy garoppolo give it to me hit it jimmy we have picked up bum. we have picked up bum. we have picked up bum. who is the next best quarterback pew all right you have uh, eliminated quarterback number two, which was Matt Ryan. Oh. Thank God. Matt Ryan. Rivers Ryan. You're right, Maz. It was similar. Yeah, right? similar. Right. Old guy. And uh, the quarterback he's tied with for eighth all time and fourth quarter comebacks. That was quarterback number three. That was Matt Stafford. <laughs> ah, good job, he did Maz. once throw for over 5,000 yards Holy and 40 crap. touchdowns. Who did Maz we pick? was right. Who do we pick? Uh, I did my damnedest to make sure that this guy not only. I should have just left him off. <laughs> Jimmy Garoppolo Suck is it, your man. next Suck Patriots it, quarterback. It. Suck it! Suck it! Ah, yeah, Suck it. baby! Nice, nice, man. Yes, sir! Yeah, and this was why... Suck <laughs> it! Suck it! Maz tried to trick me. Well, we need to have completion percentage in there because that was going to be very high and there was no way I was going to put that in there. But the turnovers should scare you away from the galloping pick chicken and his injury history. Yeah, Love see, it. that's right. He threw in Love the fumbles it. just to screw with me. Love it. Ha! <laughs> 
Son of a bitch. Suck it, Murray. Oh, bite me. Jimmy G, the best of the lot. That was wonderful. Well, you did truly pick a bum. That is the next quarterback of the New England Patriots. So it is interesting, though, because I do put an emphasis on quarterback rating. He had the highest one other than Ryan Fitzpatrick, which was a setup. Yeah, no, you tried I to trick us on that. Too. I yep. do. So I lean towards that. 99.6 is pretty good. Quarterback playoffs four times, you weasel. He did. He made the he's made the playoffs four oh, times. Oh, you weasel. That wasn't him. <laughs> no, it was, it was but, Brady. But we ultimately saw through it. Oh, you weasel. <laughs> That's a weasel well, move. It's, it's a glorified ticket weasel exercise. <laughs> Jimmy G. Uh, Jimmy G. Oh, See, that? that was orgasmic. I'm, I'm drawn to the profile. You didn't even mention that he was handsome. Oh, my God. <laughs> that thing blew up on my face. Did it ever. <laughs> Murray. <laughs> 